In our next story, we visit with some like-minded individuals as they flock together at the Mississippi Comic Con. We are putting on Mississippi Comic Con uh, this weekend in Jackson. I always call it like a geeky family reunion because there's a lot of people that I only see at shows. Every time we put on one of these shows, it's like seeing a whole huge part of your family that lives far away. Everybody asks, well, what do you do for a day job? I'm like, this is what I do all day long. I just put on Comic Cons, that's all I do. I travel a lot, I'm away from my family a lot, so it's not all, you know, fun and games, but, I get to see families coming in and, and enjoying the hard work I put into it and our volunteers and our staff and the, you know everybody that helps us make this happen, this is why we do it, you know. You know, the old saying is like, find something you love and you'll never work a day in your life. I've done it. 2014, that was our very first Comic-Con. It was 2014, we had about 1,500 people, uh, now we're four years in, and last year we had over 8,000. This year, we have 22 guests from television, movies, comic books, uh, cosplayers. That's our uh, guest list for this weekend, and it ranges from Jeremy Bullock from Star Wars to Walter Jones, who was the original Power Ranger. Yeah, we have 96 vendors on the floor. Uh, 24 of them, I think, are artists, and the rest is vendors selling anything from t-shirts to cosplay stuff, uh, comic books, of course, uh, toys. I mean, pretty much anything you can think of, it's here. Well, the Mississippi Museum of Natural Science is at Comic-Con today because we're very excited to put some more science in a place that celebrates science fiction. And so we have today our lovely pet dinosaur. This is our pet velociraptor. Smile for the camera. And we're both really happy to be here. She's meeting people and she's a great photo op. We do a lot of outreach. We work with 100,000 school children over the course of the year across the state. We have um, teacher workshops that we do. Um, and Lulu might even make an appearance at the teacher workshop. So that would be kind of, would you like to go see the teachers this year? You're not gonna eat the teachers. No, well, she's thinking about it. I'm Sam Clark, uh, one of the vendors here at Mississippi Comic Con, a uh, ceramic artist. I've always loved comics, uh, love all the characters, uh, I like illustrating, so uh, I'm sort of in my element here. I, I like to come to conventions anyway, but uh, since I'm an artist, I do robots and uh, dragons, and I feel like the people that come here, they read stories, they, they buy comic books, they like the fantastic, and so uh, I think there's a, a high chance that they'll like what I'm doing. Being nerdy and geeky is more mainstream now. I mean, it's still not completely, but I mean, some of the highest rated shows on television are based on comic books, because to a lot of people, superhero movies are just action movies with people in costumes. And if they, if they really get into a character because they watch one of these movies, they might want to go read the comics. They might want to research, you know, the history of those characters, and they might get into it, because we hope stuff like this our shows help the local comic book shops and hope they help like libraries because now a lot of libraries carry graphic novels to get kids to read because that might be the only time a kid reads is to read a comic book. My daughters love it. It's something we do together. We're both into sci-fi. They like Harry Potter. I enjoy not traveling far for my sci-fi experience so this is uh, important for me. So going to Atlanta, finding a comic con in Atlanta or uh, San Diego is just out of the question, so I enjoy it when there's local, local events like this, and it's important for me to come and like support that. The furthest guest we've had is from North Carolina. Uh, last year, a group came from North Carolina to see Ernie Hudson. I ask usually on our website or our Facebook, you know, who's here from the furthest away, and they were like, "Oh, I'm flying from North Carolina." I was like, "Man, that's crazy," because <laughs> we used to just get, you know, it was Mississippi or some Louisiana. Now it, it's starting to spread even further. I came to Mississippi because I heard the show was going to be amazing, uh, and so far uh, it seems to be true. Uh, my first comic book was given to me by my uncle. It was a Wonder Woman comic, and then it just kind of grew from there. Going through high school, I collected trading card games and statues and stuff. 
and they said, I, I don't know why you're doing that. That's never gonna be worth it. It's never gonna amount to anything. And I just had my five or my 10 year class reunion. They're like, what are you doing? And I said, all those things as you guys said that I wouldn't be doing. I said, that's what I do for a job now. It's not a stigma anymore to be into comics or into whatever you're into. Things that, you know, I used to get picked on as a kid. Now there's groups at schools for it or there's, you know, people that meet all over. And there's always been that, but now it just seems like people that maybe have always liked it but were afraid to tell people, now they're into it and just don't care who knows because everybody thinks it's cool. I think that's why people come because they're around people that aren't gonna judge them. They're not gonna make fun of them for wearing you know, whatever outfit they're wearing. They're it, genuinely excited that there's other people just like them. So, I mean, you can't really, that's, that's a cool feeling. Basically the heart of, of these shows is come have fun, meet other people that like the stuff you like, and maybe you'll go home with new friends. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see, subscribe to Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Till next time, I'll be seeing you on Mississippi Roads.